Kenyan athletics is only just starting up after a devastating disruption caused by the coronavirus pandemic. The country is gradually opening up the sport and as renowned athletics coach Colm O'Connell recounts, athletics could be forced to change to adapt to the new normal. CGTN's Sadiq Shaban has more. This is a morning routine and ritual at the St. Patrick's Athletics Camp in Iten, Kenya. Coach Cole McConnell meets his trainees, a group of four, for the day's training. Brother Cole, as is famously known, recounts how COVID-19 has disrupted the sport for the last one year. During the lockdown again, uh, my own particular small group of elite athletes uh, uh, had to uh, uh, go to their homes, social distance, uh, and of course that was during the, 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 the original, the main months in which the, the virus was rampant. And uh, then we were allowed to bring back small groups of athletes, maybe three or four, maximum five, uh, to continue with the training. This is a new normal for Brother Combe and many athletics coaches in Kenya at the moment. The big number of athletes in training camps is gone. The virus has wiped away the old training regime and installed a new reality. Nobody expected this happening. Nobody, nobody expected this uh, COVID to come along and cause such a huge disruption. So it, it's, I, I think this is also the opportunity for us to pull back a little bit and see how we coach, how we train, how our programs are structured and, uh, you know, uh, so, so that we can, we, we, we can move forward uh, maybe in, in a new way rather than going back to the old normal, you know, you know of how things were. Brother Combs says the sport of athletics must adapt to new ways of survival as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. What the world previously knew about the sport, he says, including the close contact between the athletes and the fans, could well have been completely altered by the current wave of pandemic sweeping the world. Are we ever going to be able to even get back to what we consider normal? <laughs> Is there ever going to be a normal again? You know, in a sense, we may even have to look at our youth program and say, "Is what's the best way forward? Is it the, way, the traditional way that we have been using in the past through youth camps? Com O'Connell has trained some of the best Kenyan athletes over the years, including former Olympic champion and world record holder David Rudisha. Mm. 45 years since he relocated to Kenya, the Irish priest says he's not yet done with the sport. At 73, he still personally drives out every morning and supervises the training. I made up my mind from the beginning that I'll stay at grassroots. I'll stay at this level. I'll stay nurturing young people, developing young people. And it has also kept me as a person uh, motivated. New talent comes along. You finish with Tadisha, the next thing Ronix props up, you know, uh, and, and so you, you're all the time challenged as a, as a person. So you, in a sense, you don't get old that way. You don't get old in athletics. You might age in years, but you remain young. And young people keep you on your toes. You know, you, you have to move with the young people, you have to move with the, 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 the technology, you have to move with the, the, the times, you know. So that has kept me involved as well. The renowned coach says Kenyan athletics will need to have a soul-searching moment and find out the best ways to restart the sport safely across the age groups in the coming days. This is what the coronavirus pandemic has done to the training program of renowned athletics coach Carl McCollum here in the Rift Valley region of Kenya. Ordinarily at a time like this, this training camp would be having a lot of athletes training and preparing for major events in the world. But this is his reality at the moment and he says for over 30 years he's never seen anything like this. Sadiq Shaban, CGTN, INI 10, Kenya.